So Fabian, you can start with your uh, famous topic because you have heard experience since many years on tattoo. Uh, you are from Argentina. You invite me in two months for your national congress, uh, SACPER congress, if I remember well, on laser because you are very, very well known for laser on many laser and you have more, maybe today, more than 1,400 patients in your box to show you. Thank I you hope for you don't present yes. to us all the slides for each patient. I hope so, probably. So you can start, Fabian. It's a pleasure. <laughs> yes, I hope you do. Uh, thank you for the invitation, Hugh. Thank you, Flor. Uh, I want to share my experience in uh, the last 10 years in tattoo removal. These are my conflict of interest. I really believe in that. We all have the right to repent, like and form us. Uh, tattoo no longer have to last forever. This is a fact. And we are able to say that the quarter of people around the world have at least one tattoo. And we are able to say too that the quarter of them are going to regret it and we look for a solution. And here we are. Only to remind you that the majority of the laser work in millisecond or microsecond uh, domain. That's why they obtain a photothermal effect. Uh, opposite of the cool switch laser that work in nanosecond or picosecond, they obtain a photomechanical effect. And here it is the end point of different uh, kind of uh, technologies uh, trying to remove a tattoo. But how does the cool switch laser accept erasing tattoo by their photo reaction? I love this example because all of us was playing with the Pac-Man many years ago. Uh, in this case, our Pac-Man is a little little in compared with the Hue Phantom. That's why we need to help it. We apply the cruise with laser, we transform to little phantoms and our Pac-Man really happy and eat it and throw it away by the limb system. And here is the proof of that. The theory of the breakdown of in from microparticles into microparticles by the photoacoustic phenomenon. If you can see here, there's a phantom, a shallow around the tattoo. You can see here the ink inside the macrophages, inside the lymph vessel, throwing away. I made myself this question, why I need four wavelengths? And this is the answer. If you have two wavelengths, is the majority of the laser or the Kuchui laser have two wavelengths, you can be successful of the red tone or the black one. But if you have four wavelengths for sure, you, are com you can be successful for all the color of the rainbow. Like in this mosquito tattoo, with six different kinds of, of uh, tone of colors, you need at least three different kinds of wavelength to be successful. But not all the cool switch laser act in the same way. If we try to uh, uh, use um, a nanosecond devices, uh, you obtain, of, of course, a photomechanical eff effect, but you still have a little photothermal effect. That's why you can expect few side effects. But if you have a picosecond uh, domain laser, you, you uh, can reach uh, a pure photomechanical effect. These are the two devices I worked uh, in the past uh, from 2010 to 2017 and the nanosecond devices and from uh, four years until today, the picosecond domain. And this is my experience. And if you can see here, uh, when I sent the title of my conference last year, as uh, many of you, we expect that during this year, we can return to our normal life without any kind of um, um, restrictions. Uh, sanitary restriction, but doesn't happen, didn't happen that, uh, and we are still in pandemic time. That's why uh, for sure until the end of the year, I can reach for my normal way of life, or work, uh, way of work, and I can reach this number. Uh, if I give six sessions per patient, like an average, I obtain more than 8,000 treatments uh, only in tattoo removal. Uh, all uh, these experience give me the possibility to look for uh, tattoo reward population characteristics. And I write this article, a highlight of reason for tattoo rewards and removal. I published this year in Medical Laser Journal. And I found uh, after 757 surveys, the characteristics of my patients. 60% of them are women with the average of 30 years with a high education level. Most of the tattoo were done by uh, artists in, in black ink 
an exposure area like arm for arm and hands, and more than the half express dissatisfaction as the main reason for erasing their tattoo. No lower reason, no uh, uh, different couples, only for uh, dissatisfactions. And more than the half, we were really soon uh, their the tattoo between the same day and five years after being tattooed. This is the way I work. Uh, I perform the treatment every 30 to 60 days. Uh, the average for, for professional tattoo are eight. The average for amateur uh, tattoo are, are four. Of course, it's a painful treatment. You need to add cold gel pack, cold air, anesthetic creep, or anesthetic by injection. I choose between the four wavelengths, depends on the color of the tattoo, always increase energy step by step. My end point is the first thing uh, in the post treatment recovery time, I only ask for baseline. Uh, the classical sequence uh, of any uh, tattoo is uh, like you see here, first session, the second one, the third one, the fourth one. And I asked for a, a photo after six months when the, we finished the treatment. And this is the, the actual situation. We complete erasure of the tattoo. Uh, in my nanosecond period, I can show you this example. This one, complete erasure after six sessions. Eight session, complete removal uh, on the chest, complete removal on the back after four eight sessions. A complete removal in this hue um, tattoo over the chest and the abdominal area of a male and the, the result. In my pack epic of second period, I start show you that only one session for this traumatic tattoo uh, after a car accident. Or this one, uh, a cosmetic tattoo trying to simulate hair after two sessions. Another cosmetic tattoo over the eyebrow, seven session. I love this example because in some cases I uh, give the possibility to my patient to ask for a menu lacquer. Uh, this means that I can leave part of the tattoo and erase only uh, the part that she, uh, they want. Four sessions for a complete removal on the feet. Six sessions on the finger. Six sessions on the forearm. On the back of the neck, six sessions. Seven sessions in this uh, forearm. Seven sessions in the back. Nine sessions on the back neck. And a lot of sessions, 14 sessions, but it's a recently tattoo with a lot of ink, dark ink. That's why uh, I, it takes me uh, more time, but with the complete removal. I show you this sequence of treatment for a really difficult uh, multicolor uh, tattoo, uh, six, six different kinds of, of tone of colors. Uh, in, I need the four wavelengths to reach this result. Another difficult tattoo, multicolor again, uh, after nice, nice session, again with the four wavelengths to reach this result. It's still in progress. The funny mosquito, mosquito tattoo, with six different kind of colors. And this is uh, nowadays the, the situation and it's still in progress. I need to uh, call again some of my patients uh, uh, that I stopped the treatment when I that doesn't, uh, didn't work successful with a light color and I start again with a new device. And this is uh, my result after 12 sessions. And another patient after 10 sessions with this uh, new device. Some patients ask only for reduce the tone of the color, allow uh, her in this case to retattoo it uh, for different uh, kind of, of uh, situation. And I always say that my best result and best before and after photos need a lot of time, especially to resolve the transitory PIH. Like in this case, I, I showed you a few minutes ago, uh, after one year in the middle, this is the real situation, a great PIH. It's only a matter of time. Or oh, this another case, again, uh, with, I need to wait a complete year to obtain this great result. That's side effects, I'm going to show you some, uh, some cases. For example, when you use uh, white color uh, and you try to uh, remove that, uh, be careful because it's, uh, when you apply the laser, maybe change uh, white to uh, gray or, or dark as black uh, because it was made by titanium. Or uh, when you 
uh, be successful with this uh, uh, kind of uh, tattoo, you can leave a skin texture change and the patient maybe um, are really not happy with the results. Or in some cases, we leave leukoderma over the skin. Uh, we can help this kind of patient when you have this great rea uh, allergic reaction to the red thrum because it was made by mercury, mercury sulfide and it, it give the possibility to our patient to uh, not only um, um, reduce the allergic reaction, at the same time, we, uh, he can retattoo it with different kind of tone of colors. In the post treatment indication, usually I, I only ask for moistening and sunscreen. And when I, I saw the the PIH, I indicate high level of, of melanization like tranexamic acid, kochic acid, and hydroquinone. There are different ways to get result improvement. As you know, the R20 protocol, the PFD patch, the use of shock wave, the use of ablative laser in same session or after you finish the session. But I, try, I, I start to, to prove uh, the result with using leaf of levotonic because we can change the relogic of the, of the leaf uh, in this way, we can help our macrophages to uh, eat it well, the ink, and get a better work. In conclusions, in my experience, application of Pico Second Pulse Wide Cut Regular Tattoo Removal Session by 20 to 40 percent is only a sensation. I, I can't prove that. For the removal of light color, for sure, uh, I, uh, for me, it's essential to have different kinds of wavelengths. This is a fact high peak of power in less units of time you obtain best results. And I give you two pieces of advice. The first one, look for the most powerful, fasted, and versatile quiz suite available in the way you live. Uh, ask for that. And the second one, study the population of the place where you work or live, because one in four inhabitants have at least one tattoo, and 20% of them will look for eliminate or modification of it. They are all potential patients. Don't lose all potential patients. Thank you so much for all your attention. Thanks, Fabian. Uh, yes, very interesting uh, uh, on your experience because you, you use seems many years uh, two kind of um, um, laser, uh, Q switch on uh, now in nano laser and pico laser. Um, now we use you use pico laser because we have a question. We have a question from. Uh, uh, very common, um, very common, uh, okay, select, very common, very common uh, question that it's always the same. Do you use already your nano laser when you have your pico laser in your office? You sold it or you keep it? Sorry, again? You use, you have in your office a nano laser on a pico laser, you have the both. Okay. Uh, I have the both because my, my, the device that I use has the possibility to have two different kind of technology inside of it. I, I usually uh, use in the, in the picosecond domain for tattoo removal, but I use the nanosecond domain uh, as the way I, I can uh, give a, a thermal reaction when I try to get improved in the quality of the skin. So for you, it's interesting to have the both technology, pico and nano. Yeah, Today. if you have the possibility, are the best.